So. <laughs> wow, uh, look at that. I heard there was a story about it. Could you, in a simple way, tell us? Bonjour, c'est Jonathan Rumi. N'oubliez pas que la saison 4 de The Chosen arrive bientôt en France. Les ténèbres, ce n'est pas l'absence de lumière. C'est plus incontrôlable et funeste. First question. Yes. You're playing Jesus. Mm -hmm. Kind of difficult, perhaps, in uh, at least my head. It, does it get more uh, simpler or harder as time as time goes by? I think in some ways it gets easier. And then in this season, it was quite challenging because of the material and the nature of the storylines. But it's, it's never easy. I think it gets a little simpler because I've been doing it for a few years now. But I, I, never, I never take any of it for granted. How would you say uh, playing this role impacted your life or the life of, of your beloved ones? You know, I think it's changed my life in how much it's, it's uh, deepened my faith personally. I think it's done the same thing for my family and friends as well. So. <laughs> wow, uh, look at that. I heard there was a story about it. Could you, in a simple way, tell us why do you wear those rings? The skulls, for me, represent the medieval Catholic devotion called memento mori, which means remember that, that you will die. Uh, and essentially, it's just a meditation on death as a way to value one's life. So uh, tomorrow, tomorrow is not a guarantee. So the question then becomes, what can we do today to be more holy, to be more like Jesus, mm -hmm. to be more like the saints. That's why I wear these. Thanks a lot. I take mine. It's beautiful. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's part of the life also. Yeah. Tu étais là, en train d'attendre. Parce que pour toi, la ténèbre n'est pas ténèbre. Du moins, pas tout le temps. Which scene would you say in season four was the most challenging for you to, to play? All of them. <laughs> uh, season four was, a, was in many ways the most challenging season for, for everybody in the cast. Um, I think for me, probably the, scene, the scenes regarding Lazarus. Okay. Yeah, there was, there was, a, lot, there was a lot there that was pretty, pretty heavy. Lazarus! Lève-toi et sors! How would you describe the atmosphere during the filming of season four? Do you feel there is some kind of pressure for you to get the story straight? You know, I, I, I think we're, we're not so concerned about getting the story right as we are just telling the story well. Mm -hmm. And um, bringing in the complexities of the journeys of the disciple and of Jesus as we get closer and closer to the crucifixion. Ce chaos est infernal. Pourquoi personne n'arrive à contrôler ces gens Ce qui vous est arrivé n'est rien à côté de ce qui vous attend. Um, I heard the story that to get to play into the chosen, it was a hard time in your life. You went kind of broke, and then uh, something happened, and you just found yourself in the, the chosen. What was the message you would say to a teenager? Uh, during that period of your life. Uh. So yeah, you're referring to the time where I was uh, really um, in a state of despair because I, I, I didn't know what God wanted from me. And then when I surrendered my will to God and allowed Him to take over and, and to show me where He wanted me to go, that's, that's when the Chosen came into my life. And I would just say that to any young people that are struggling that um, are not sure where they fit in or what they think they're supposed to do in their life, uh, to just trust everything to, to Christ, to Jesus, to, to God, to give over uh, as much as you can of your life and yourself and your will to, to figuring out what it is that God wants for your life, because ultimately uh, He wants the best for you. Do you have a funny souvenir, an anecdote uh, do you happen, which do you happened during the filming of the season four or during the show? I think a lot of the times that the fun for us as actors comes in between the scenes, especially if there's, um, you know, if we've had a lot of heavy emotional scenes mm -hmm. when, when we can, I think just making each other laugh 
that becomes uh, vital for us to be able to get through the hard scenes is to just be able to, to laugh in between scenes. Tu souhaitais qu'il y ait un autre chemin, je m'en souviens. Et avec le recul, moi aussi. Je ne sais toujours pas pourquoi il doit en être ainsi. L'amertume se mêle souvent à la douceur. Would you have some advice to give to a, a young teenager who, who were willing to, to play an actor in a movie? I'd say for any people wanting to be, become an actor, um, to never compromise your faith, to compromise the things that are important to you, your beliefs, your morals, you know, there's, there's always going to be another job, another opportunity. If there's, a, if there's a role, there's things that are inappropriate and you don't feel good doing them, then you shouldn't do them. You shouldn't take the role. There's always going to be another role. People are going to be making movies and TV shows for decades and generations to come. So um, it's more important to, to, to look after and care for your soul than it is to, to get a job. What's, what's your preferred scene during the whole show uh, up to season four? Oh, I don't think I can answer that. There's, there's so many scenes that I enjoy filming. Which yeah. scene do you relate to the most? I think portraying Jesus' humanity, um, relating to scenes of, of pain and loss and suffering. I mean, that's that, any of the stuff that is truly human that he experiences that we portray. Uh, that's the only thing I can relate to with Jesus is, is humanity, so. Tu nous as dit que toute ta vie serait marquée par ça. Homme de douleur. Habitué à la souffrance. In four words, how would you describe season four? Tension, excitement, sorrow, redemption. That's, that's a hell of a teaser. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it sure is. <laughs>